What's up, world of Pokemon and YouTube? Jolteon here, bringing you another fantastic match from the Admins Tournament. The third match of the first round of the Jolteon bracket features Fidane Hill versus Roger Meja. And this, just looking at the roster, is going to be a great match. So let's begin. Fadane is going to lead with his Terrakion, and Roger, to Fadane's advantage, is going to lead with his Tyranitar, setting up the Sandstorm. Now this Sandstorm will increase Terrakion's defense, but he won't take advantage of it for very long. With the first round close combat, Tyranitar gets taken out in one fell swoop. Now this does give Fidane the early game advantage, seeing as Roger lost his weather induced. Sending out Kabalion this time, not wanting to take a close combat from this thing, Fidane's gonna switch out Terrakion into his Nine Tails to set up his own weather with his sparse sunlight. Even though this close combat hits Ninetales extraordinarily hard, it's not enough to take it out in one shot. This gives Ninetales a chance to set up Hypnosis on Kabalion. Fearing the fire attack, Roger's gonna switch out his Kabalion, which is gonna give Ninetales a chance to beef itself up with Nasty Plot. But seeing as all Latios and Latios carry some kind of water attack, mostly Surf, Fadin's going to switch out into his Porygon 2 to take the attack. Porygon 2 does take the attack. Amazingly. Only doing about 5% damage to it. Seeing this damage, she switches out into a Cavalio and expecting a status effect, which she successfully predicts. Not being affected, Cavalion is already asleep, so Roger has an advantage here, but he still can't do anything with Cavalion. So Fidane's going to switch into his Glycer, which is going to take its poison heal. Switching back into its Latias. Lyscore is going to set up a first turn and substitute. Getting the Swords Dance off, Latias is going to try to break this sub with Psyche. It manages to break it successfully. Glyscore's back up to max health thanks to its poison heal. And it hits Latias with a boosted plus two facade. It hits it hard, but Latias is able to survive it and counterattacks with its ice beam. This puts an end to Glyscore and the threat it poses with facade and swords dance and substitute. Fidane's going to send Porygon 2 back out, seeing how well, well it did against Latias the first time. Knowing this, Roger's going to pull him back and send out Kabalion, trying to predict another Thunder Wave. But this gives Fidane a chance to double switch into his Hydreigon. At this point, I think Roger just wanted to fodder off Kabalion, seeing as how it wasn't doing anything asleep, and every time he switches it out, it does reset the sleep turns. So with a single flamethrower, a dragon does knock out Kabalion. Sending back out Latias, this is going to cause Fadane to send Porygon 2 back out. Justfully creating a stalemate between them. But 
this isn't going to cause Roger to switch out again. He's going to take his chances and see what he can do with Latias' ice pool. But he doesn't do much, so he predicts the Thunder Wave again, and successfully so, as he sends out Garchomp. Sponge it up. Now this Porygon 2 isn't just specially defensive, seeing as how little damage it took from Dragon Claw, it is also physically defensive too. But even though its stats are defensively spread, a single Ice Beam was enough, enough to take out Garchomp, being four times weak to ice. Sending out Gigalith now, this Porygon 2 will get off a of Thunder Wave successfully. does try to use hidden power, but it doesn't do much. It did less than the Surf from Latias did. And this gives Porygon 2 a perfect chance to use recovery. Hitting Porygon 2 with the Stone Edge, this stuff is substantially better than the hidden power did. But even if it's defensive, Buddy doesn't want to stay in with Porygon 2. Instead, he opts to go for his Swamper to take the next Stone Edge, which does so magnificently. Hit a Gigalith with an Ice Punch, Swamper gets an amazing crit, which knocks down about half of Gigalith's health. Gigalith trying for the Hidden Power again still doesn't do much damage. At this point, it's not going to be super effective or not very effective against anything in the match, so I'm unsure of what type that suit that actually is. Here I thought the waterfall would be enough to take it out, but its defensive stature is enough to let it live by a sliver. It tries to hit with another hidden power, still not going much. Swampert, in fact, does heal off that damage with his leftovers. But one last Ice Punch is enough to knock out this Gigalith. <laughs> Running out of options, Roger's gonna send out his Superior. But because it's Swampert, this is gonna easily scare him away. I'm going to send out his Hydreigon to counter this Superior. And unfortunately, Superior does miss his attack, which wouldn't have done much, but it would have been enough of an edge to help him out later. But if Flamethrower does do this Superior in, in one shot, and Roger is running out of options at this point. He sends back out his Latias with barely any life in. I'm thinking this might be Scarfed or Specs, but seeing as what kind of damage it did with Flamethrower, it's probably Specs. Congratulations, Fidane, on advancing to the next round.